safety their speciality. So this is quite shocking. They have a team of uh, wildlife experts that are on call uh, that specialize in preventing situations like this. You know, this is Florida. This is gator country. If there's a body of fresh water, Don, there's a very good chance there's an alligator in there. Now keep in mind that the Disney property itself, the park only makes up a very small portion of that. The park is surrounded by thousands of acres of pristine habitat ideal for alligators. And whether we believe it or not, they are constantly moving back and forth, even in a man-made lagoon. Mm -hmm. But Disney tries to keep up on that. But clearly, uh, this animal got in there and wreaked absolute havoc and it led into just this incredible catastrophe. Yeah. It's, you, I mean, and you have a personal story here because you said you got a phone call from your wife. Well, my, yeah, my wife had been seeing a lot of the, the hits I've been doing with you guys today. And, and she said, do you remember where we were two years ago right at this time? And we were staying at the Grand Floridian. And she said, your little girls were playing on that beach. And I had to remind my wife that this is so tragic. I can't imagine how a family survives this. Despite the valiant efforts of the parents to save their child, they were unable to, and it was dispatched by this creature. This is a very rare event, Don. Disney has been operating this park for 40 years, hundreds of millions of people. It's never happened before. Florida, in the last 70 years, only a few dozen times have we've had uh, tragedies like this. Alligators do not naturally prey on human beings. It's usually something else that causes this. Oftentimes, it's when people become too cavalier. Don, they become too comfortable. Maybe they're feeding the alligator. That animal loses its natural sense of fear, and calamity ensues. In this case, it is hey, such Jeff. an anomaly. Yeah. I, I, listen, our time is short. Just quickly, if you can tell me, could the, what should parents do? Could that dad have done anything? Was jumping in that water the right thing? What's the right advice here? That dad did what any dad would do. He was heroic. His fight extinct kicked in, and he fought and he fought. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. The gator's mouth is, is, is one massive abductor muscle thousands of pounds per pressure. It's hard to, even a small animal, it's hard to open it. This is its element, Don. They've been living in this environment for 60 million years, practically unchanged. We were in its world. And unfortunately, this is what happened. It's just an absolute tragedy. I think the father did what he did, the best he could. But people need to remember that we're in every around a body of water. You need to keep your eyes out. You need to be thinking about safety, especially in places where you know that animals like this could exist. Thank you. Jeff Korn, thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right.